First of all, thank you for coming. I think you all know me, but for, the, for those who know, who doesn't know, I'm, I'm Gabriele Ponzo. I'm Italian and, and I'm, I'm currently the, mem the chairman of the membership committee. This is a speech I had, uh, let's say, is, I used to do really often because, it, because I care of, obviously, but it is also my precise role, meaning that we will talk about <coughs> community and membership, and so this is uh, something I care of. So, this is the agenda. I improved my presentation. As I told you, I have made this presentation many times, so uh, uh, I have had the chance to improve it more and more. So, this one of the new features is this kind of agenda, which records the number of slides for each argument. Great. By the way, let's move on. Um, first, talk about our community. In our community, there are people from every corner of the globe, and every, everyone can uh, realize that just looking at us at, at the corner, for example. Uh, for example, so <laughs> and uh, who speak and write in so many languages. And this morning we have many speeches, many talks about uh, particular languages, minor languages, let's call it that way. And uh, again, we all know that one of the key features of the open source software, uh, against the closed and proprietary one, is the possibility to customize and so to have it translated in the very uh, and the many and many languages as we wish. With the most diverse competence and skills. This, I want to remark this because uh, many times people think that software means developer, means engineers, or so. But we'll see later on that there are many, many things that everyone could do within the project without being engineers or uh, developers. And we don't. Uh, yes. <laughs> I anticipated the last point. <laughs> okay. We don't have just developers, but many, many kind of. Our community is really inclusive and thus open to everyone. Becoming LibreOffice users, obviously, is the very first step because otherwise you don't know either what you what we are talking about. And I must mention and remember that LibreOffice is a free office suite downloadable from the website, which is www.liberoffice.org. And uh, then, if you like the software, and uh, most of all, oh, you're right. By the way, if you like the software, and you can see what the spirit, which is behind the software itself, so what moves the community, maybe it's time to get in. How? Um, everyone usually has some interest, some passion, and maybe you can just put that in our project. Maybe, for example, um, I used to be a professional speaker and also a DJ, and that's why one of my commitments is to uh, give the official voice in Italian project. So when you see videos, official videos in Italian, the voice you listen is mine, but not only for LibreOffice, to be honest. I also contributed with a uh, public money, public code. The Italian video has my voice. Because I like it. So it's no hustle, uh, it's no boring for me to do that. It's enough to have just a little spare time, fantasy and good willing to have fun, with no obligation. We'll see later on. Meaning that anyway, uh, you can donate your time as much as you wish. Free software allows you to do tons of things at near zero cost. Mm, for those who don't know what is LibreOffice, it's comparable to Microsoft Office, obviously, so it does uh, more or less all the same things. But for example, not everyone knows that there is a uh, module, a component called Draw, which is meant to uh, prepare, obviously, any kind of drawings. Vectorial, so uh, not only raster, and it can handle, and it can be useful, useful for uh, um, a tons of things. I used to, I used it for, for example, for um, technical diagrams because it has 
uh, layers. So you may you know overlap many layers, and you can uh, how to say switch them on and off. You can decide to to show or to print those layers and so on. It has the connectors, really useful for um, diagrams, flowcharts, and whatever. But you can also use it to to make a poster, a postcard, or whatever. It's a graphical suit included in the graphics. And we have thought to give back something instead of just taking. Because the first reaction to, to people when you say, hey, do you know about the graphics? The graphics is a free, free suit. Interesting. I go there and I wait. Right. Please do it. Really. But at a certain point you may say, oh, this tool is really useful. I really it really solves many of my tasks and my problems. So I would like to give back something. My time, for example. Oh, sorry. So that's the spirit of our members. That's what uh, everyone in our community sooner or later realized. <coughs> everyone knows what is the office, but uh, what about the document liberation project? The document foundation uh, which has uh, the main headquarter in Berlin, is the, the house for those two projects, LibreOffice, which is the more known and the bigger one, we may say, and the Document Liberation Project, which is uh, something, well, it's a piece of code that, um, how to say, let it possible to open and say different kind, different file formats. <coughs> so, for example, if you are able in my LibreOffice, to open and say uh, Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel and so on, kind of files, is thanks to Document Liberation Project. So they used to do this kind of filters, we call it that way, with, which are software uh, able to translate the coding of the files. And this is how you can be part of our community. The icons here means, uh, means um, that the marketing, for example, is something you could do both for LibreOffice and for the Document Liberation Project. The same for the documentation. The translating is just useful for uh, LibreOffice. But what are these areas? This demonstrates that no uh, technical skills are always needed. Because marketing is what I'm doing right now, for example, so speaking. Or using Twitter or Facebook or whatever, or whatever and uh, just let the product known, just let LibreOffice be known among the, the widest audience as possible. That's marketing, obviously, and not only that. Um, the documentation is to write the manual, so it's just about human, okay. humanistic, I would say, it's just to know English. Well, when Sorry, where translating is the ability, obviously, to uh, translate from English to native languages. It could be German or Italian or French or whatever. Or Guarani. The funny thing is that also, uh, if someone is willing to do that, it could translate the program in its own language. So, in Italy, it happened also that we have labor office in Venetian. Do you know Venice? We, we have a lot of slangs in Italy, but are all, a lot of slangs. And Venetian is recognized by UNESCO as a, a language, not a slang. So they cared about translating the office in Venetian. And this is possible because you know, it's open source, so you may just jump in and uh, do what you wish. Quality assurance is about reporting bugs. So you see that the software doesn't work well, so you just have a final report and say, hey, I've done this, this and this, and it didn't work. To be honest, before doing this, it's much better to try aging the bugs, which means uh, to test if someone else's bug has the same behavior on your computer. Because maybe just a photo of your computer, of his computer, and maybe on yours, it works perfectly. So it's really needed to try age bugs. And then, you get used to it, you may also start reporting, reporting works. Then there is the infrastructure, which is 
yes, a little bit more technical, and we have Cloth here, who is one in charge of this kind of, both with Lia and others. Infrastructures are the website, for example, meaning the server behind the website. To, to, just to, to mention one, but there are many and many infrastructures, because we have the public website, the, the private one, and the next cloud, and the uh, gallery, and so many web tools based on servers, and they have to be maintained. Then there is design. This is a, something really interesting because, again, you don't need to be a technician or have IoT skills. Maybe you uh, studied at school design or something like that, or you're just passionate for it, and you're able to, to draw new icons or a new interface or whatever, and you can just apply and make your suggestion. Finally, there is development, obviously, finally, least but not last, and uh, because it's the core, obviously, and here you need to be a technical. Okay, I already told you that. <laughs> It is not the first time this is kind of. So let's go quickly in the various area. I uh, this is not because I'm uh, megalomane. I don't know how to say it in English, but uh, the picture is mine just because of privacy. Because <laughs> otherwise I would have, should have asked to someone, can I publish your your picture? So this way I'm free to use it as much as I can. And to be honest, this is, this was exactly two years ago here in Namibia when I came for KD, KD Academy and I was talking about LibreOffice. And this was an interview uh, I completely forgot back in Brno. You, yeah. made, you, you made it. Today. I did it, yeah, yeah. Yes. And let's say that two or three years later he published and I completely have forgotten to <laughs> yeah. Really, it was a surprise for me and really funny also. Then, conference centers, training, because you may give some kind of free training if you wish once you are expert about your office. Promotion, promotional stuff, so the photo, presentations, video, interviews, show, maybe one day, you know, later, hopefully, in TV, the national channel, you know, gas starring, come on. And uh, social network, again, okay. Twitter, Facebook, and whatever. So, what are you, you waiting for? Christmas? <laughs> are you shy? I don't believe it. Anyway, there is a documentation, so you can have writing manuals, online help, wiki pages, file formats paper, this is document liberation project, and support authors. This means that in English or your language is time. Uh, but because there are many lists, public mailing lists, so new users may <coughs> arise some kind of question and say, hey, I just installed your office, and, but I'm unable to do this. And maybe you are not that used, but that thing you offer any now. So maybe you're not an expert, but for the, so for the sake of chance, you just have done it. And so you are able to answer, and that's it. IRC, social networks, ask, which is a kind of forum, forum website, where you can also vote the answer, as well as where it is, more or less. Yep. And Facebook and so on. And so far. That's perfect for shy people because they won't uh, have to show anyway. <laughs> no more excuses left to join. I'm sorry for this flickering. This is my computer which is going, leaving us. Uh, then let's go to translation. What can you translate? Manuals, the manuals which we were talking about before of the program. There are hundreds of uh, pages for each component, so a lot of work. Online help, again, in your language. Website, because it's uh, more appealing to have the website in your own language, isn't it? The wiki pages, the LibreOffice interface. So when you do file, edit, and all the menus, for example, you know, all the dialogues, OK, uh, Albert, and whatever, in Italian is OK and Nulla, and File Modifica, which is edit. And that has, been done to, has to be done so, by someone. So if you wish to have your uh, LibreOffice in your language, you're welcome. But something interesting <coughs> you have to 
uh, specify here because uh, it looks like to translate you have to be expert in English as well. This is almost obvious, but not completely. This means that in manuals, for example, there are pictures. The pictures of the program. So let's say that uh, the manual says uh, open the file menu and uh, then hit on open, for example. Then we have a picture with the open menu. Well, translating the manual means not only translating the text, but also the pictures. And translating the pictures is not that tricky, because you just have to watch the image and do exactly the same thing on your copy, without knowing even at all English, because you just have, you just have to open the very same menu, or the same interface or dialog, whatever. You just go there and take a screenshot. That's, that's it. So you're translating without knowing English. By the way, also the marketing stuff, because the marketing group, who is Mike here and Italo, they produce a lot of paper, uh, well, not exactly physical paper, by the way, and a lot of documents, they say, but it's fundamental to translate them as well, because if you want to do marketing, the best way to do marketing is in your native language, at least in your country. Again, I have already anticipated this about the uh, screenshot. Okay. Then there is a quality assurance. I told you this is a bug I reported. I reported <coughs> some year ago. Uh, well, still open, I guess. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, as I told you, you can do bug triaging. This is the first step because because before having, being able to submit a bug, you should have first. Uh, Try uh, do try aging, some try aging, all other ones, but to understand what's the way to do that. By the way, it's not not difficult. It's just a, we call it the monkey list, meaning that you just have to you have to write down one, open the graphics, two, do this, 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 and this, and then expected behavior and uh, current behavior. So you just, but it is a key point to have the monkey list because the other people who has to uh, try each of but they don't have to waste uh, your day at that time. So it has to be really quick. I open a bug, do this, 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 and then, I, then the try agent has to just write down it works for me or it doesn't work or on my computer as well. Then the reporting, the hunting. There are kind of campaigns where uh, in, within two days they uh, they run this kind of campaign to, uh, to, to find the bugs of the new release. So there is a new release who is not yet released, but is going to be within two weeks usually. And there is this kind of campaign in today's uh, sprint to, to hunt for bugs. Um, and then many other things about yeah, the quality of the software. I'm late. Okay. This time, well, the design is obviously, this is in Italian as you may uh, see. Uh, it's translating the program, not sorry, translating, uh, placing, I'm sorry, placing the gadgets, widgets, sorry. So maybe, oh, it would be much nicer if this would be here instead of there, kind of, this kind of stuff. So the user interface, the icons in the dialogue again, but it's also the place. Maybe in your office you use some kind of planning, I don't know, particular, and there is no template for that, you create for yourself, well, share it, because someone else may, be, may find it useful. Then the infrastructure, as I told you, these are just some of the service run by the foundation which needs to be maintained. This is a little bit technical, no, no need to be developer, but either agnostic, I mean, some kind of thing about developing each other. And this is finally the coding, and, uh, which starts from macros. I mean, code macros is not real developing, but it's still needed. Then extensions, then there are the easy hacks, which are the, the welcome door for new developers, for newcomers, and then the core developing, the channel, and whatever. Uh, it, needs, um, it deserves to be mentioned that 
we also run sometimes workshops which, in which you can learn how to develop, and they're free. Why contributing? Satisfaction. Feeling part of a project, feeling useful to others, which is something that, to me at least, really gives a lot of satisfaction. Getting in touch with the community, especially in this social event, just like the conference. Uh, meeting different people and cultures. This is really amazing to, for, for, from my point of view. Being recognized by others. Is, oh, you are the one who solved that problem. Oh, nice to meet you. Thank you. It was annoying me so much. Have a beer. Have a beer. <laughs> I have the beer. You have the beer already? Ready, ready. You're ready. Yeah, you, you've earned it. Yeah. Thanks. Encouraging others to join, just like I'm doing right now. I'm growing your knowledge because you ever learn something from others, especially in these kind of communities. Um, using them and membership itself, which I explain very quickly now, as a reference for job application. Fix your goals if you are able to, otherwise let them fix hopefully. Finding your naming credits, because yes, everyone who contributes in any way, just tweeting maybe, just using Twitter, is then listed in the website as a contributor. To make a difference, because yes, little things make a difference in our world. Um, okay. Please. If you like to make people, nothing better than uh, than a uh, dinner. Finally, I just talk about membership. Uh, one minute to you. Yeah. Well, okay. A couple of minutes. Okay, yeah. Really quickly. Uh, all the stuff you can do without being a member of the Duckman Foundation. If you wish to do, you're free to do that. But if you do it, do it regularly. It means not once in a while, but neither every day. Maybe once per week, once per month, whatever you wish, and you can give uh, as you donate as your time, then you may be part of the foundation. The difference between the community member and the foundation member is the governance. You may vote and be voted if you can candidate yourself for the board of directors or the membership committee, which I am uh, chairman at the moment. Then you feel more an ambassador because you are a little bit more involved in the, in the foundation and in the project. Have much fun, this is for sure. Get satisfaction. Be the growth of our projects because this is surely one step more to grow it, to grow that. Get strong support because yes, uh, we are not paid. We are, I'm talking all about volunteering. So no money here, but at least as a recognizement of your uh, commitment and your contribution, the reason, the, the refuge for expenses. Get certification, because we have a certification program as a developer, as a trainer, and I am, and as a migration expert, and I am too. Migration means that you are expert in replacing Microsoft Office or whatever the company or the entity is using with the leader office. And find a job because mm, many, I can be sure, you can be sure, many of our members have found they have found jobs within the community. And I have one in front of me, for example. Many, because indeed, because you learn many things and you get into an ecosystem which sooner or later will need someone to hire as a direct TDF employee, as a contractor as a self-employed in the ecosystem, like I am, or an employee for a company involved in the project. And uh, that's what is needed to become a member, uh, but I have more or less already, already uh, told the same, sorry. So I'm late and thank you, thank you for attending, really. If you have a question, really quickly. Yeah.